starting off with squats. I know this is a bit of an awkward angle, or it's quite close to me. And the reason for that is because it was quite packed at the gym since it is a Sunday. And I went around peak times as well, meaning that I didn't want to put my phone somewhere where it would make people feel uncomfortable or... Because you know how some people walk by and then they stop and stuff, just being an inconvenience to them. So I stuck it there. But then for this set here, it did empty up a bit so I could stick it in a better place. Now my squat has recovered now to, I think, what it used to be. Because the most I got this weight for is four reps. And here I got it for three reps. Now the, three, the third rep wasn't as clean or as easy as it used to be. I didn't mention this last leg day, but... I don't think I warmed up as well as I should have been and I do feel a slight pain in my left groin. It's nothing that I can't push through and obviously you shouldn't be pushing through pain if it's very bad. But a small stretch at the end of the leg day and it was fine. The last time I attempted this weight was the day before I left for the holiday. So only now have I built up the strength to attempt it again. And the time that I did attempt it, I didn't actually manage to get the weight up. And that is because I did 110 for 4. So I did probably overexert myself and fatigue myself. But you can see I did get up. And this is probably approaching 1 rep max territory. Because it didn't go up as easy as it could have if I was going for 2 reps. And I'd say my absolute peak 1 rep max where... It's life or death and someone was holding a gun to my head. It would probably be three plates for one rep. And I don't know if this is realistic or not, but I did mention a couple leg days that the goal I've set myself by the end of the year is to get three plates on squats for 10 reps. And seeing that I'm approaching that weight and it does look like it's my one rep max, to be able to get it for 10 reps in five-ish months or even less, four months because it's about to be August, might be unrealistic, but obviously I will try to progress as much as I can. When I was doing the RDLs, maybe because I did load up the squat more, my form wasn't as good and you could see my lower back was rounding quite a bit. And obviously you don't want to be doing that when RDLing and deadlifting. Now I have come to the decision to just RDL and deadlift twice a week or keep it how it used to be because Every time I do legs, if I don't RDL, then I do know that it will become a habit of mine to just keep on skipping it instead of doing it. That's why I've decided to just keep the RDLs and keep doing deadlifts. My hip thrust did also go up in weight because when I put the 15s on, because usually I'll do two plates and a 10 and that would feel very heavy. But when I put the 15s on instead, it did feel quite light and you could see I was moving it very easily, which did catch me off guard and did surprise me. So maybe next leg day or next leg session, I'll be able to go for three plates, which on a hip thrust isn't anything monumental or it's not a massive achievement. It's just that training your glutes is such an important factor that a lot of people overlook because if you're running fast, you've probably got very well developed glutes. And if you do look at a lot of sprinters, one common thing that they'll say is to train your glutes because that is Another muscle that is very important to jump high as well. So a lot of your athletic and power from your lower body comes from the glutes. And obviously don't look over your hamstrings and your quads. But definitely don't neglect the glutes. To finish off, I did Bulgarian split squats. And these are slowly becoming a favorite exercise of mine. And the reason for this is just because how grueling and difficult they are. So if you do see someone in your gym doing Bulgarian split squats and heavy ones at that, go into failure, you do know that they've got some strong willpower to push through pain. Because I don't really see Bulgarian split squats being done too often at my gym. And they're also a great way to eliminate any muscle imbalances you might have in your legs because you could be doing lunges, but these put all of the focus and strain as well as effort on your one leg. And what's interesting is that you'd expect for me to be left in my weaker leg because I'm right-handed. However, I found that, and maybe this is just because I've consistently started off with my left leg, and this is not on purpose, it's just how I felt more comfortable. And now that I find that I've started off with my left leg a lot more, my leg obviously cannot do as many reps, because by the time I reach my right leg, I'm more tired. 
So this time when I did start off with my right leg on my second set, I did find it a lot more difficult to balance and try achieve the same number of reps as I do with my left. And that's why it's important to alternate which leg you do start off with because by the time you get to the second leg, you probably won't be able to get the same number of reps as the first one. 